Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to part 19 of my City Living LP here on The Sims 4. So, as you can see, Vincent is back in his old apartment in San Shuno. If you didn't know, Vincent actually went to prison because he got found out about him murdering those two people, if you remember back from part 7 when he did that. And um, we were a little bit unsure about what happened and how he ma managed up getting there, but we actually found out that it was Penny who called him in after they both promising that they wouldn't say anything. Um, and it was Penny who discovered the two remains in that room. Room, um, in his apartment and you know it just went all downhill from there for some reason she thought nothing of it for a little while but I think she was just hiding that and really she was really scared and she moved out after she would like like literally not even a week since she moved in with Vincent after she was found being homeless and Vincent took it in and you know she's done this to Vincent which just isn't nice at all um actually they actually recorded part 19 and um, I know I just uploaded part 18 but like there should have been another episode before that and I just told I don't know what happened but I was just recording so much because I've been making a video every day this week and um, but this is the last one in this week so I, I've just been getting confused but luckily it wasn't too much all that happened really was Penny came to the prison and you know they just talked for a little while and she ended up telling Vincent that it was her who called um, him into prison so you know he's a little bit angry as you can see and in the last episode Aaron came over over and he had some really good news and some really bad news. Good news being is that he actually managed to get uh, Vincent out of prison because he knew, knew someone who was working on the case and because of lack of evidence and everything he managed to get him out really easily which was great um, but at the same time he also gave some really bad news which I still can't get my head around. Vincent's parents have actually died and that makes Vincent really really angry because if it wasn't for Penny then he would be spending their last days with him and and Oh, God, it's just terrible. It's all Penny's fault after everything that Vincent's done for Penny and, you know, she's portrayed him in this way. It's just terrible, isn't it? So it is like 1am and um, we've just got a call from Aaron there saying that he's in a really bad state in the minute. And, you know, we're, we're going to have to go and see him right now, actually. Okay, so Vincent is now at his brother's house and as you can see, their moods have just changed. They're in such a bad state at the minute. And um, as you can see, this is actually a different house. Um, Aaron just couldn't keep up this house over here, which was their old one. And it's a real shame that they've had to leave all this, you know, history behind for Vincent and Aaron were brought up here and everything and now you know they're just they're just not there anymore they couldn't you couldn't afford to live in this house so he had to move and he's now over and this one which was much much cheaper and he managed to get this one but you know the, the life has just changed like that like within like a day and everything is just ruined so as you can see they're having a couple of you know mood changes and things sometimes they're really happy and they just don't think about it and then all of a sudden they think of everything and then this happens it was all out of the blue they didn't really seem anything was in a in distress state I suppose could say in terms of the health and um, everything was fine and then all of a sudden that happened so you know it, it was a real shock um, especially for Vincent because you know he didn't get to spend his last days with them um, well <laughs> their last days with him so um, he's just going off to bed because you know he's feeling really sad he invited um, Aaron over here but he, he's just finding it really hard to talk so he's just gonna go over there and cry it out um, but you know it's it's not gonna just cry it out automatically it's gonna go on for a little while because this is something that you know it's just you know, it's just really bad so as you can see Vincent is feeling really happy because he's back with his family where he should be and um, but at the same time he is still really angry angry at um at uh, penny so oh i think we should go and just talk to Aaron a little bit see how he's getting on and you know just reminding that you know i'm here for you and i can do everything that you need um if you need anything at all then i can help you with that remember we've got this gym thing that if you want to take a break from that then i understand um aaron seems to be you know losing a little bit of weight actually which is great because you know uh, vincent was really really worried about him because you know all this thing happening with um, you know his drinking problem and all that sort of things to do with his health was getting really really bad and you know Vincent felt kind of bad because he had his other problems to worry about and he couldn't really you know um, you know kind of like help him that much that he wanted to they agreed to do it kind of like every week and um, it kind of just went downhill from there. They did it once and then it was a little while since they then did it again. Um, sorry, I need to put my walls up because this is getting a bit annoying. I'm just trying to take a couple of screenshots for the thumbnail here because this is probably going to be the perfect one. Um, if, you, if, you knew, <laughs> if you're new around here, then you'll know that I take a lot of screenshots during the game because I just want to make sure that I have many different options when I come to the thumbnail because the most annoying thing is when I don't have a perfect screenshot to use for the thumbnail and I have to use a thumbnail that I'm not really happy with. 
Um, so I'm just taking quite a few different ones here. I think we've got enough there, maybe just one more like that, and that should do it. Okay, so um, Aaron seems to feel a little bit better, but as you can see, Vincent's just moodless, it's changing from sad to happy. And it's just, you know, it, I think they just want to both be alone, and they could maybe talk at a different time about this because, you know, they are still both in a, in, in a really bad state. So um, I'm going to get Vincent to head back home. It was only a really quick visit, but he just wanted to make sure his brother was okay and that, you know, he's, he's sort of coping, but, you know, deep down he knows that Aaron isn't really coping, but he just doesn't want to show that. Okay, so we're back home now, and as you can see, Aaron's angry again. This is something that's happening. It's just, he's just got, got back, he's here alone, he's been thinking, and, you know, he's thinking that Penny is getting away with all of this. She just caused all this trouble for the family, fa <laughs> can't speak, <laughs> the family, and, um, you know, got visit in, vin oh my god, <laughs> if you knew around here as well, then you know I can't string a sentence together, um, and Vincent, you know, Penny got Vincent into prison, and all this, and she's just off there living her life, um, maybe not a really good life because she was homeless, and now she's managed to find something temporarily, maybe, I don't know. Um, so I think in the morning we should go off and, you know, go and see Penny. Um, I'm just going to get Vincent to take a nap because his energy is pretty much full. So just something to uh, pass through the night a little bit. And then we desperately need to go and see Penny. And, you know, he's just going to get up. He literally just can't sit here for another minute letting Penny get away with this. So um, he's actually going to send Penny a text saying that we need to talk. It's urgent. And, you know, he's going to get out of dress off her because he actually doesn't know where Penny lives, which is a little bit surprising. I thought he would have figured it out by now because Penny did actually come to the prison. And, you know, she got there pretty quickly. So, you know, um, Vincent must have thought that she lives nearby. Um, so for some reason, that I can't find Penny, so let's try that again. Uh, let's send her a text and say that we need to speak, it's urgent, and um, hopefully that they can go over there. So I'm going to get her to send that text, and I'm going to get him to head and travel there. Oh, I didn't realise I have like 300,000 in the um, in the, in the the funds. I'm going to have to change that because we moved from household, which was the prison, to this one again. So <laughs> I'll change that off shortly. So let's head over to Penny's house. Okay, so we're here at Penny's trailer, and when Vincent arrived here, he just stood there for a minute in shock, thinking about what Penny's life has came to. She went from, you know, in billboards and Sam Ice, you know, to having one of the top uh, careers in the social media, uh, well, <laughs> having a really high branch in the social media career, um, and all this money and all this big lifestyle and everything, and then she just went to homeless, to Vincent bringing her in, um, to building up a good romant romantic uh, relationship, and, you know, progressing really well and then to all of a sudden Penny find out the secret they both agree that they'll keep it quiet and then Vincent ends up prison because Penny sent her, um, him in there and all this has happened and you know Vincent just feels really portrayed after, portrayed really bit, <laughs> betrayed um, after all of this has happened and of course his parents have died so he's just telling her that it was all your fault and that you know Penny should be ashamed of herself for doing all of this to Vincent when they agreed that this would you know that they would keep the secret and you know Vincent really finds it difficult to shout at Penny because he knows that this is the person that he really wants to be with and you know he's feeling that he's got to shout at her but at the same time he doesn't want to ruin it for her as well so as you can see she's just gonna go away she's just she feels a little bit sad actually about what she's just done because she kind of feels guilty which is great because that's what Vincent wanted her to feel like for doing this to, uh, to Vincent but you know that was only a, a quick visit, um, but you know, at the need to go and talk some more about what's happening. And Penny's just stomping out the house, and I don't know why. And as you can see, the romantic romantic bar is um, a little bit bad, I suppose. Um, and she's just going out there to kick <laughs> to kick the bin around. Um, I'm just gonna get them to. I don't know, maybe not, I don't want them to like make up already because that Vincent just is still pretty angry to her, but maybe just talk about something, I guess. Um, there's nothing really here. <laughs> why so? Why are all the options like? Oh, I don't know. Let's just try and chat to her. Um. So as you can see, she's like kind of angry. They're both kind of their romantic interactions, and I keep seeing interactions instead of Bart is a little bit down. And you know, Vincent's trying to talk to Penny, but she just keeps walking away. And you know, Vincent's kind of feeling like. This is like, kind of his fault now. He's kind of ruined the relationship with Penny, which he didn't want to do. He just wanted to, um, to let her know that, you know, that you've kind of caused this. And she kind of feels really bad and she just went away to try and think about her problems and everything. So I'm actually going to get Vincent to um, head back to the house because, you know, he just wants to be alone today, I think. And um, that's probably going to be the best thing to do to try and cheer himself up. And we'll see what the next step is in terms of everything, really, for his parents, with Aaron, with Penny, with his job. And let's just wait and see.
Okay, so Vincent has just arrived back at his apartment and somebody was outside and he was kind of feeling that somebody's following him a little bit and they came up to the apartment and the, he was just shouting, excuse me, excuse me, and he came up to Vincent and he's just saying that um, I've heard a little bit about your backstory and, you know, and Vincent was like, what backstory do you mean? And he's like, I know what you've been doing and the things that you've been doing to those two people. And, you know, that, that kind of just made Vincent pause, like how on earth does this random person know about that? But he's saying that um, I know a, a friend who's in the police and he's just saying that well he's not really a good person um he's actually kind of like a, a i don't know how you would explain kind of like a hitman agency i guess he's kind of like the manager of various um hitmen and he's asking vincent if he would be interested in um maybe you know helping out a, a couple of people uh, for him and you know vincent's like well why me and you know he's just saying to vincent that how you've done all of this is kind of in all this secret and everything is just really like amazing to me and Vincent's a little bit like reluctant to go ahead with this um it was kind of just all out the blue with like like in the lobby they're talking about this um and you know he's the man is just saying to him that you know if this could be a really like big life changer for you you would have so much more money a better apartment you'd be able to support your family and you know have a better life for yourself and it kind of makes Vincent a, oh my god my phone just went off and it kind of makes Vincent a little bit more interested into finding out more information with this so he's going to say to him that yeah I'll actually go ahead with this and you know Vincent's kind of feeling a little bit happy about it but at the same time they you know he's a little bit scared about what could be the next thing because you know he's just gotten out of prison um, and as you can see he's got a little bit of a scared face on him but at the same time he's a little bit happy because this could be a life changer for him so he knows the mistakes he made last time with those two people and hopefully he can maybe change it around this time and keep it more secret and um, but he does have somebody who's kind of managing him with this so maybe that could um, help him along a little bit so it's not just him by himself so I wonder what the next step is going to be for Vincent how is he going to get on with this if he does decide to go ahead with it because he's kind of just made this decision really quickly i think you will because this could be a life changer like the man said but you never know um so let me know in the comment section down below about what you think i think that rhymed didn't it <laughs> let me know about what you think is going to happen next what you thought about this episode if you have any further ideas for this let's play or videos whatever just leave all those things down below in the comment section make sure you leave a like share and subscribe if you haven't and you can also use the hashtag ttvcl on the gallery to submit sims and lots if you want to as well for this lp so thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time. Bye!